Welcome! In front of me I have CMF Watch Pro 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the uh, crown button. And once you see the CMF logo on the screen you can release the crown button and after that uh, wait for a couple of seconds and your watch should turn on. And after the watch turns on you should see the list of languages uh, on the screen. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen, find the language you would like to use on your watch, select it and then tap on the check mark to confirm. And now we need to download and install the CMF watch application on our iPhone. You can scan the QR code if you like to, I'm just gonna open the App Store and download it from there. Uh, one thing to mention though, uh, you need to have an internet connection and Bluetooth enabled uh, to continue. So do that and then open the App Store tap on the search icon, then tap on search bar and type in CMF watch and tap on search. And you should see this application on the list, CMF watch, tap on it and tap on the get button to download and install it. And after the application is done installing, tap on open and here we can allow Orden ID permission for the notifications. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. If you don't care, you can deny it. If you want to receive the notifications, tap on allow. And now you should see the login page. Basically, we need to uh, enter the email address and password to login. But if you don't have an account, you can tap on register or use the Apple account or Google account. I have an account, so I'm going to log in. Give me a couple of seconds. Okay, and remember to check this box at the bottom before uh, you tap on sign in because it won't let you sign in if you don't. And after you sign in, you may see more pop-ups about the permissions. This one is for the location. So this is useful if you want to use features like a uh, weather for the current location, maybe routes for your uh, exercises like running and cycling. So let's say you want to track your route on the map and stuff like that. So if you want to use any of these features, you will need to allow the permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. And here we can uh, allow other apps uh, to track your um, activity. I'm gonna tap on Ask an App to track, but you can allow it if you like to. And if you see the permission about the Bluetooth, allow it. I recommend it, it's required. And now, once you're done with the permissions, you should see the uh, health page of the app. Tap on the device icon. And here tap on this big, big rather, uh, plus button, my bad. And after a couple of seconds, the app should detect your uh, watch. Tap on it to select it. Tap on the check mark to confirm on the watch. Tap on pair on your iPhone. Allow Orden ID permissions for the notifications. And let's see. Okay, now we can tap on try it out. And here we have the device page with our Watch Pro 2. And of course, if you wake up the screen on your watch, you can see that it's working. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.